welcome back to my channel. I am Nisha Agarwal, and today we are at Saba. Today we are here to test a special menu that Starbucks launched on the 7th of June and that is vegan menu. So they have a whole range of vegan options to dine in and that's why I just came to Starbucks to check out their latest menu and see what all they have to offer in their vegan range. So excited to try. So let's go and check it out. Let's get right into the food. Guys, this is vegan hummus kebab wrap. And it looks pretty decent, but it's just the size of a roti. I would say, yeah, to taste this one. Vegan kusan bun. They have, uh, let's do some postmortem here. They have some veggies and a bun, which looks yummy. I'll just assemble it again. This is the vegan sausage croissant roll. It pretty much looks like patties or what we call as puffs. It is that but it's a little on the softer side. Also, Abhi just ordered this uh, cold brew with ginger ale and I ordered some hibiscus lemonade. It's refreshing. But is it bitter? Like cold beer is supposed to be a little bitter. A little bitter. Okay. A little bit bit bitter. But somehow manageable. But it's refreshing. Now it's my turn. Mm. This is yummy. Wow. Patties and sausages in these dishes are plant-based substitutes of chicken, pork, sausage, etc. So you get the feel of a chicken in a vegan dish. So we are trying the hummus uh, vegan wrap and they give this hara chutney with this. It's yum. I mean it's a wheat roti and they have some veggie sausage. Of course it's vegan. So and uh, there's some pieces of carrots and capsicum. I would give it a 9 out of 10. I mean, I'm eating completely vegan, but I'm not feeling like I'm not eating chicken or something. Like, it's so yum. So, we are trying the vegan croissant bun. Uh, this is a very crusty bun with some sauce. I'm just deconstructing the entire dish. So, there's sauce and there's veggies, and there's some uh, crispy, crispy patty inside this. And uh, yeah, there's some cheese as well. But it's vegan, so they must be using some vegan cheese in this. Let us take a bite. I mean, the bread is a little dry. I'm not able to get what's there in the pack. Maybe oats or something. Like the texture looks like oats. It's so yummy. The last one is this croissant roll. Sausage croissant roll. Vegan sausage croissant roll. And uh, yeah, let's take a bite. I cannot really see what's there inside. So I'm just taking my risks here. But yeah, definitely there's sprinkled oats. Very bready. I'm going to cut into half and then try it. Like, I really want to see what am I eating and there's some veggie sausage I guess they cannot break it so again another bite sausage is on point it is a white very very mild saucy flavor inside that's super yum it's not spicy it's not bland it's perfectly spiced it's perfectly chewy and uh, very nice that sausage actually is very chewy and 
kind of nice. It's yummy. I mean, this one gets an 8 out of 10 because I didn't really know what's going to get into my mouth and I would have expected this uh, croissant to be a little more crispier on the side to have a very nice finish but it was a little soggy. So yeah, 8 out of 10. So Abhi and I just switched drinks. I'm more of a coffee person and he liked the hibiscus one very much. Wow. I mean, I definitely like it better than the hibiscus one and he loves the hibiscus one. I mean, it's lemonade and... Do you find this hibiscus lemonade better? Yes, definitely. Why? Because it has taste of hibiscus. And trust me, hibiscus feels so refreshing. Because I want to highlight a point here that all the three dishes that I ordered maybe the burger or the roll or even the croissant bun all three have either a patty or a sausage something that replicates chicken or meat I mean when switching to vegan you don't really have to have food that feels like meat inside okay? so there are two ways of making vegan options one is you just procure natural ingredients plant based ingredients and uh, maybe like in the case of this bun what they could have done is made the patty with veggies and uh, that is easily plant based right but they didn't do that what they did is they made a patty that is a replica of a chicken patty and that's what they have added in the burger and uh, I think the motive here was not just vegan the motive here was also to uh, make people understand that they can have a chewy chicken texture um, in a bun that is vegan so if you want to shift from a non-veg diet to a veg one or you want to uh, substitute to your uh, chicken burger or a chicken croissant bun or roll something you can definitely uh, try this one and uh, finish off with you know that very taste that very texture just that it's vegan so if you want to go plant based and uh, you don't want to miss out on your uh, chicken food and all this is a thing to go the vegan menu was primarily not just about uh, eating healthy and veggies etc but they partnered with imagine meats to make it a very non-veg textured experience so if you are a, a chicken lover or you try like to eat meat these options here are a very good substitute they give you the taste and texture of a chicken in the mouth and still you're eating vegan so I hope I make it point but um, when they introduced the Starbucks vegan menu they didn't really introduce uh, desserts or they didn't really introduce uh, cold drinks and coffees etc in their menu it's just a three uh, dish menu where you have a burger you have a roll and you have a croissant so all these three are the only vegan options available in Starbucks I think they could have you know just use a soy milk or a milk option to turn their coffees vegan too which they actually said that they are into the process but not really executed yet I did that uh, giant brands like Starbucks has started you know sailing the boat towards the vegan direction and everybody can enjoy this and this is actually a huge step because now even the other restaurants and other brands etc will make that effort to match up to this and uh, come up with their own vegan options and set the line for newer trends to emerge out for uh, more uh, brands and restaurants that can come up with gluten free options also and maybe we'll get to try something in gluten free range outside you know a vegan option or a gluten free option something like that the prices are usually higher than uh, what you know the regular dishes are but Starbucks didn't do this uh, Starbucks has priced almost uh, these vegan dishes in range with the other products and this I'm happy about I would like to see more uh, sweet and I would also like to see vegan coffee options because honestly it's very easy and Starbucks could have easily done it I don't know why they are delaying it they should bring vegan uh, coffee to India like right now if you my vegan friends are listening to this this is the time to head to Starbucks and try their latest latest version of vegan menu and I'm sure you're gonna love it for me that was a great experience at Starbucks with their vegan menu and yes I'll keep bringing more options to explore in my next few videos till then subscribe to my channel share this video with everybody I'll see you in my next video bye